Hello beautiful people everywhere. Welcome to my video. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share my huge perfume haul with you. I went all out and placed an order online with a lot of new perfumes, new to me. Perfumes that I've been wanting to discover for a long time, perfumes I've been hearing about. Um, I have to say that most of these, like maybe 85% of these were blind buy. So this should be interesting for you and me to discover these scents together. And I will give you some feedback. I'm not gonna go into a nip depth in depth, in depth review of these, um, just because I need time to wear them, see how they sit throughout the day, how they last. Um, you know, I have to really get my hands on them and try them out before I do an in-depth review. But right now, I'll just smell them and tell you at first sniff whether it's love at first sniff or do I hate it? Is it mad? Is it just okay? I will give you that feedback. So let's start this haul. The first is Lancome. This is upside down. This is Lancome La Vie et, La Vie et Belle. This is Lancome La Vie et Belle. This one is the flanker. This is the low, the parfum intense version. So the original is the La Vie Belle, and the um, flanker is the intense La Vie Belle intense. I love how they have this little feminine scarf. This is so I love this bottle. It's very feminine, classy, just really, really nice. Let's see what this smells like, shall we? So this is a very pretty vanilla, amber, praline. White floral scent. This is florally sweet, very nice, very well done. I, I love this. Oh, it smells so good. It's sweet. It's very sweet. This should be a crowd pleaser. I can totally see myself wearing this on an everyday basis. This could be my signature scent. So the next one up is the Guerlain Shalimar Soufflet. It's the Lumiere Flanker. It's Souffle Lumiere Flanker of the Shalimar, of the original Shalimar. I remember the original Shalimar as being very powdery, um, oriental scent. Um, this one seems like um, it's a lot lighter by the description I read online and the reviews. This is what the bottle looks like is just so pretty so pretty and they, they updated the way that they did this ombre coloring it's really nice so let's see what this one smells like shall we so i definitely smell lemon and citrus let me spray that a lot of lemon and citrus very fresh, very summery. I smell jasmine, vanilla, musk. It has musk when it kind of dries down. And there's that burst of citrus. So the burst of citrus gives it a nice updated feel. It doesn't smell, I mean, the DNA, I remember the DNA of being, does have that like underlying DNA of the original Shalimar. 
which I remember being powdery, oriental, um, mature. This one is definitely like a more playful, fun, like vibe of the original Shalimar. I'm gonna really love this one. I can tell already. So this next one is Girl of Now by Ali Saab. This is the Shine Flanker. So the original is Girl of Now, which is a pistachio scent, the heavy pistachio scented perfume. I have not smelled the original, um, you know, just reading about it. Uh, so I decided to try, this sounds like a more a summary version of the original. So this is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. Shine, shine. I smell pear, some mandarin, pistachio. Oh, I love pistachio, love this. I absolutely adore this right off the bat like I can tell you right now this could be my signature scent quite possibly this is amazing that pistachio the pear it's very gourmand vanilla it's just a beautiful mandarin there's some zesty note in there I think it's the zesty note that gives it um more of that like spring and summer vibe. So it's sweet, but the zestiness makes it a little like not like heady, overly sweet, a little more refreshing. So it's like a refreshing version of Girl of Now. Love the bottle. The next one is the Hermes. Elixir de Marvel. 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 Elixir de Marvel. I'm probably butchering the name. Sorry for those who speak French. I have to brush up. But, you know, this, um, I smelled this. This was not a blind buy. Um, I have smelled this at a Sephora like years ago. I haven't seen this lately, but years ago they did carry this in store. And um, I did really like it. I remember really enjoying it. So this was not a blind buy, but I bit the bullet and decided to purchase. It's a, I think one ounce. So this smells like, oh, it just smells so beautiful. To me, it smells like sun, ocean, sand, um, sandalwood. There's some balsam, vanilla sugar. It's a, it's an oriental woody. Hmm, just so beautiful. It's, it's a skin scent. It stays close to the skin. I remember wearing it around when I sprayed a tester at Sephora and I remember thinking that it smells so yummy. Like it made me think of being out in the sun and the way that my skin smelled. It had that like sand, salt, ocean, that mingling of those elements in it. And um, this reminds me of Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. It has a very similar vibe. It, it's like, um, or Beach Walk uh, by Mason Margolis. It, it has like very similar vibe. It's like a beachy, sweet, sandalwood, um, oriental, woodsy type of fragrance. It, it's pretty complex. This is a really well done complex fragrance and it starts off with some notes that you can smell on top and then it dries down to like a really nice musky skin scent. It smells divine. 
So the next one is Olympia Intense. This is a flanker of Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Um, I never thought that I would like a Paco Rabanne fragrance. Um, I know like it was a popular men's fragrance back like in the 80s, 90s. Um, I never owned a Paco Rabanne fragrance, but, and this was not a blind buy, I had smelled this in um, one of the department stores when it was still there, when they still sold it. And I smelled the original. So this is a flanker. This is the oh, Paco Rabanne Olympia Intense. And the bottle looks like so. It's like really pretty. I, I really like this. And the juice, the liquid is such a rich amber. Such a beautiful color. This is just a masterpiece. Um, let's see what this smells like. Salty caramel. I smell, it also has like a beachy boardwalk vibe. Like when you go down to the shore, and you, there's a boardwalk and they sell popcorn and um, flannel cake and just all that deliciousness. Like this smell gives me that feeling of being on the beachy boardwalk. It makes me think of summer. Sweet vanilla, marine aquatic notes. Mm, it's a gourmand for sure. Very delicious. I love the combination of sweet and salty. It's just such a nice combination and it comes together so well. Oh, it's so good. Love this one. So far, it's so good. So, so the next one is Miss Dior Simply Blooming. This is also not a blind buy. I actually smelled this in the store, in the Sephora, I believe. And this was by far my favorite out of the um, Miss Dior collection. This one just spoke to me. Um, I wasn't thrilled with the other Miss Dior fragrances. The bottle looks like so. It has a bow here, just really nice feminine classic looking. I smell raspberries, rose, and there are a few other flowers I cannot identify. Perhaps white flowers, hmm, I can't really tell. But it just, it smells so good. It's um fruity floral, for sure. It's, you know, a very typical fruity floral. Um, nothing, you know, unique, but I do really enjoy this. I can see myself reaching for this quite a lot. Uh, this is like a great bridal perfume as well, just because it's just so pretty and feminine, elegant, classic. Um, just, it's a very beautiful scent. This Dior, absolutely blooming. So this next one is Kenzo, Flower by Kenzo. This one has been around for a while. I must have tested this when I was at a store years and years ago. I didn't recall what this smelled like. So this was, you can say this was a blind buy for sure because I did not recall the scent of this fragrance. Um, the bottle is just so nice. So springy, very nice. And It smells like baby powder, baby powder. <laughs> this is powdery, woody. It's a floral orient, powdery, woody, rose, vanilla, musk incense. 
I saw some incense in there. Um, not sure how I feel about this one. It just, I mean, it's supposed to be like a complex fragrance and it has different tiers of um, fragrance and flowers and earthy elements in it. Um, but for now, at first spritz and at first smell, it's very much like baby powder. So we'll see about this one. Maybe this will be my go to bed fragrance. It's nice and cozy and comforting. Makes you think of a baby. Well, this next one is Tom Ford Noir Perfume. This packaging is sexy. It's sexy, just like the fragrance. I've smelled this one at a Sephora before. Um, I did always like the scent of this. I just haven't gone around to purchasing it. And now that I have it, I am ecstatic. Cannot wait to wear the shit out of this. Um, Mandarin, rose, vanilla, very musky. Hmm, smells so sexy. Hmm, I could smell this all day. Vanilla, amber, sandalwood. Hmm, so good. So good. So guys, I have completed my haul. This is all that I've got. That's quite a large one. That's a lot of perfume and I probably won't be doing a haul until maybe next year. Hmm. Let me know what was the latest that you have purchased. Um, if you had made a haul lately and what it was and how you liked it. And I will be talking more in depth about these perfumes. Maybe some of these perfumes are all at some point or another in my upcoming videos. So you will get to hear more about them, about how I feel wearing them. And um, yeah, that's it. And so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you get notified when I come out with new videos and please hit that like button so that I can keep these videos coming and leave me comments, you know, about anything. Take care.